Some state lawmakers want Senator Roland Burris now investigated for perjury, demanding that he resign after new information surfaced surrounding his testimony in Springfield last month during Rob Lagojevich's impeachment trial. Today's support for Burris, though, coming from religious leader CLTV's Aaron Baskerville, joining us from The Loop with more on that tonight. Hi, Aaron. Hey, Sean. Burris gave a short statement this morning, only speaking for about a minute. He answered no questions. Burris says the new affidavit has absolutely nothing to do with contact from federal agents regarding the former governor. Senator Roland Burris is staying on the defensive, once again saying he never changed his testimony from last month in Springfield. In the new affidavit filed in early February, Burris now says former Governor Rod Blagojevich's brother called him three times asking for fundraising help. And he talked with several associates of the former governor. In front of the Illinois House Impeachment Committee, Burris only mentioned one name. The information that's being reported in terms of the, that this was done because uh, there was a, a, a Fed uh, statement is absolutely, positively not true. It was done because we promised the committee we would supplement information in case we missed anything. Burris met with a group of ministers on the south side for an unrelated reason before leaving for his statewide listening tour today. The senator claims he told the committee last month his testimony might be incomplete and he would need to submit more information. These ministers are now supporting Burris. You ought to recognize who he is what he's done in the past and what he's doing now. So whatever is going on now, it seems to me a lot of folks throwing dust up in the air after the fact. After reviewing the transcripts of his testimony, Burris says he did admit to talking with several associates, but the questions turned in another direction right away. Attorney Tom Glasgow believes Burris has a valid defense that he didn't commit perjury because the questions were asked in such a rapid fire manner. But the main question is, did he willfully omit information? When a person makes a misstatement and then turns around and says something completely opposite, that's an easy perjury case. When they omit something and then, you know, you have to take it in the context of how they omitted it were they asked a question appropriately. Well, Burris says money was never exchanged. Governor Quinn is now asking for a full explanation. Burris made these comments before leaving for his statewide listening tour. He's in Peoria tonight. In the loop, Aaron Baskerville, CLTV News. All right, Aaron, thank you very much.